Hello, in this lesson we will learn how to create a brochure. So first we'll need to uh, prepare Adobe Photoshop. Then we will need a brochure template. For my printing I'm using uh, a printing company. Uh, they have live chat, they have uh, very nice support and of course their delivery is just great. Uh, whenever I'm uh, ordering brochures or business cards from them they are ready in two days and they are and, uh, they are in London in two days time alright so you can log in in their website the registration is free and then you can download the templates for our lesson we will need a brochure template so we'll just go here choose Photoshop brochure template okay we will be creating a flat template and then we can download it and use it for our project it's very easy and if you'd like to create a business card or a flyer or something else you can just choose from all these templates on their page. Okay, so here's the brochure. Here it is. And when we enlarge the file, you can see some suggestions on the template itself. As you can see here we have save zone And we have some suggestions such as do not place important texts or images beyond the dotted area to prevent trimming and this is the actual cut of the final design here it is so we all these lines are very important because we don't want to uh, put something uh, something important beyond these lines so that's why they are here. So also we have bleed area. Extend your artwork to the edge of this template. If you want uh, your design to extend to the edge of your final prints. And the border also is here. All right. Also it is important to use the SMIC, uh, not the RGB mode. So you can choose the uh, mode here in the image because for printing SME color is used so make sure to enable this option here not RGB because if you're using Photoshop a lot you will be using RGB color mode and you will need to choose that SME color alright so we will be creating a brochure for this company for painting and decorating in uh, London so you will see that it's very easy okay so I have prepared something already here's one nice image here which we will be using and I will just import it into the workspace here's this baby Here it is. It will be like this. Again, take in mind all these lines. And here we will put our information. All right, so let's do it. Here we will put the website.
here it is. I will be using Georgia font and it will be bold. Okay, we'll make it larger, maybe 35. Here it is. And we can play with the colors here. For example, okay, it will be dirty. For example, this one will be blue. Painting will be red. And decorating will be maybe green. All right. Also, we can put a shadow here. Let's drop a shadow. Right, you can play, play in, uh, you can play with the fonts. If you like you can choose another one. And I will be using the information from this the previous brochure and put it on the new one. The services this company is providing. So make sure that everything is aligned. You can use the rulers to align the services. Use the left arrow. And now we will put the telephone number. Again, I will use the ruler here to align the telephone numbers. We will put call us today and make this color 100% cyan. Okay, here it is. We will align it with the website here. And make it a little bit smaller, maybe 25. Okay, so now we will need to put the telephone number. Right, it's ready. We will put only one office telephone number. Okay, here it is. Again, you can play with the fonts, just use your imagination create nice brochures. All right, of course we can add additional information, but I think for now it is just fine. We can increase the font would like to make it more appealing. So I will make this font 40 and call us today with 30. All 
right? Okay, also we can choose to make sky again 100% cyan. So I think it looks just fine. Drop this line here. Change the color again to one hundred percent cyan. Right, so far so good. And we are ready to print all this stuff. So in the background you can merge all visible, all the visible files. And our file is ready for printing. You can also remove the rulers. Export and save the file as JPEG, and then you can send it to a printing website. And in two days, your brochure will be ready. Okay, here it is. Of course, it's not the best design, but I think it's very nice. It has the main information, it has the, the website, also the services and the telephone number. Alright, so play with your imagination and create nice brochures. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more lessons and video tutorials about web design and search engine optimization. Thank you very much and have a good day.